Hi everyone, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to perform a one-factor chi-square test in R. Now, a one-factor chi-square test, also known as a goodness of fit test, is a test where, the, where we want to uh, use very small pieces of data usually, and we want to test to see if there's a, a significant difference between the values that we observed uh, compared to the values that we expect. So this is a non-parametric test. It doesn't use the mean or median or any uh, descriptive statistics like that. We're going to compare observed and expected values. So before we start, let's take a look at some data. So I have data here in a diagram, and this diagram, number 91, and plus all diagrams and R scripts used in this series of videos are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information section beneath this video on the YouTube page. So a chi-square test, which is a goodness of fit, fitness test, I'm going to use some uh, uh, data from the Irish Road Safety Authority, um, and in this, it shows distribution of road fatalities by the day of the week. So we've got 12 fatalities on Monday, 16 on Tuesdays, 10 on Wednesday and Tuesdays, and so on. So this is the um, average number of road fatalities by day of the week. And so um, um, what I want to do is uh, compare this to what I might expect. Now, there are seven days in the week, and let's assume that we want to uh, say that, well, there should be the same number of accidents on every day, that there's no difference between any of the days. So we've got seven days, so therefore, uh, one-seventh of the accidents should happen on a Sunday, one-seventh should happen, happen on a Monday, and so on. So is this distribution of data that you see here in this table different from what we expect? So that's the good, so if it is, well then the data are not a good fit. And if they are different, and not, not if they're not different, then we have a very good fit in the data. So this is a one factor test, it's just one factor being tested here. So I'm gonna close that diagram down. And what I've done here already on line number nine is I have read in the values. So 12, that's the Sunday, 16 Monday, 10 Tuesday, and so on. So I've read in the seven values, which are observed from uh, the data table that we just saw. And I'm combining those together and, and um, storing them in the vector called observed. Now, so there's two things I need in to conduct an eye test. There, it, one is this observed piece of data, but I also need to have my expected piece of data as well. So I'm going to write and create a second vector called expected. And in this one here, what I'm going to do again using the combine operator, open and close brackets, is, it's a, and it's a little bit awkward because we're not using decimal places here, we're going to use fractions. So remember, in our case here, we have seven days. So I'm going to do a fraction of one divided by seven, comma, one divided by seven. And do this seven times. One divided by seven, that's three. One divided by seven, that's four. One divided by seven, divided by seven. So be sure to make sure that you don't put in an extra one or leave one out or anything like that. So I've got one, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven one sevens, which of course will add up to one. So they are my expected expected values. So let's run these two lines of code to, to create the uh, observed vector and then to create the expected vector. So we can see in our global environment, they are numeric values and we can see uh, what they are in this case here. So the expected have been converted into decimals if you want to know what the decimal values of those are. So then to perform the chi-square test, relatively straightforward then, we've got the two things that we need to perform a chi-square test. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use the chi, chi, chi q.test function to do that. So chi q.test. And if this is the first time you've come across this function, you've never used it before, uh, do go to the help tab in our studio and you'll find uh, information. Type in chiq.tst and you'll find some information about this chi-square test and uh, its usage and some parameters and so on that you would use in it. So the chi-square test then we just need to pass in the two pieces of information. So the first one is our observed values. Observe comma. And then we don't just simply put in the expected values for the second one. We want to use the parameter P, which is equal to, in this case, this the P here stands for probabilities, and the probabilities that we have done are stored in the vector called expected. So I'm going to put that in next. So chi-square test, I'm going to compare the observed values with the expected values using the chi-q.tst function. So let's run that and see what we get in our output. And what we get in our output is just one, one line of results. We've got our chi-squared statistics, st sorry, statistic, That's a, and uh, we can't use the um, chi-squared symbol, the Greek symbol for chi-squared, uh, so we're, uh, R is just using a capital X, but that's a chi-squared value of 4.5169. 
we have six degrees of freedom, and then very importantly we have our p-value, which tells us whether our difference is significant or not. Now remember, uh, up at the top of the test, I said I would run the test at an alpha value of 0 0.05, or 5% significance, but we can see that our p-value is greater than that, and that means we cannot reject the null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is that there's no difference between the observed and expected values. Uh, so we cannot reject that statement. Therefore, we have not found a difference. So there's no difference in our case here, no significant difference between the observed uh, occurrences of road fatalities uh, by day in Ireland compared to the expected ones uh, by day in Ireland as well. The last thing I'm going to do is just uh, quickly write this up. So... Uh, to do this, I'm going to write out the word chi because I can't use the symbol. And we have um, six degrees of freedom because we have seven. We're using the n minus one rule, so we've got seven uh, parts to our expected values. So I'm going to use six degrees of freedom in there. And then that is equal to, reading from the console, uh, my chi-squared value of 4.517 rounded. And then we put a comma after that, and we give the p-value then p is equal to, as we can see in, in the console, the p-value is 0 0.607. So p is equal to 0 0.607. Or you could put in, let me just correct that typo there, or you could put in uh, p is, is, is simply uh, greater than um, 0 0.05. So in this case here, we have not found a difference between observed and expected values, but hopefully this will show you how to perform a chi-square test, a very straightforward test in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.